All right, guys, so check it out. I just removed the old condenser fan motor and blade. Like I was saying, this comes off from the back. Four, four bolts, like half inch or so. See them right there? It's four. Screw it back down to the, to the fan cage there. Flip her over. And now she's ready for the blade, okay? So another, another good tip is look at your old fan motor and you see how much gap there is between the shaft and the and the motor here okay see how much is sticking out about an inch and a half you know you just you want to kind of set the new blade about the same and I always put a little uh, So that way in the future, if I ever need to re put a new motor, I'm not gonna change this blade out. It's gonna be, still be good. It'll come off easier and it'll go on easier, okay? Remember, the collar stays on top. You don't wanna put it on this way because you really can't tighten it and that's just not the way it goes, right? Look at the old one, remember I told you. You want, you want the same gap as an existing one, okay? And another good thing to know is that the screw where you tighten it down right here, you always want to be. See how this has the shaft has like a like a flat end, okay? That's for the reason being is so that way that's that's the side you tighten it down on, okay? So. What we want to do is go up a little bit. That's hard with one hand. Remember, we got to tighten it on the side where it's flat. Do it a little bit more than hand tight. There was hand tight as tight as you can, okay? So if you see the old one, it's about a fingertip. About the fingertip. The gap. Yeah. Well, this has like a little, it's not flush on top of the motor, as this one's straight flush. So it looks like there's more gap here, but again, if you look on top, it's about the same. But as long as we're clearing the, we're not, the fan's not hitting, you know. And the reason why you want to do that is, um, Put the blade the same depth and on to the shaft is because when you flip it over and it spins inside the AC housing here, it could hit the shroud. The shroud is the side of the AC right here. Okay, just like in a car, you know, you got that plastic shroud, fan shroud that covers your fan for your radiator, your your you know your fan on your engine. 
the shroud it's the same there's a shroud that's around here so when you flip it it, it spins inside of a shroud and here's my new capacitor 10 microfarads that's how you know how many microfarads we have if you look at the older one 10 okay See how it's three? They're both three. And what the reason why I like going to uh say this is a carrier, I went to carrier to get this fan motor and all the parts is because it's OEM. What is OEM? OEM is basically plug and play. You don't have to rewire uh cut wires, you know, we wire it basically, right? It's basically plug and play. You you know, you put it on. And it goes right to your capacitor. And that's it. See how you got three? You got like a ground, your your uh you got three, right? Yellow, brown, and black. So basically it's like a like a ground. You got your positive and you got your like uh your brown to me it's like it's always gonna be your it's all basically for your capacitor and stuff. That's the colors. But brown a lot of times is um, your thermostat wire and whatnot. Feed your wire. Keep your wire in. The same spot you pull the old wire out. There's always a little hole where you feed your wire in. Sometimes there's like a uh, like a piece of PVC or not PVC, but like plastic piping, just to house your wiring. And again, you turn your motor, you turn the whole thing where your wiring comes out, where it goes in. You want it nice and straight. You don't want your wiring way over here and, and it back, you know, and when, where it's going in is way over here. It just doesn't make sense. So you want to spin it to where your wiring's at, right? So mine's right here. You want it nice and tight. I always put some black tape on it too, keep them all together. Black tape, or you could put this type of stuff. Okay. That's what I'm doing. There's black tape out here in Arizona won't last too long it's too hot out here all right So, so like I said, you got your piping. So what I do is I bring my piping 
all the way up. 